Thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Carsten. And, and um, thank you very much for having me here. I think if there's two messages uh, that I'd like you to sort of take away with is that obviously Denmark is better than England in some respects. <laughs> and, but we're catching up in terms of the use of, of the information uh, resources that we have available at looking at health, social and educational services to maybe understand our population better and to see whether we're doing the right things and to understand how we can adapt um, the services that we provide to improve um, the outcomes of our uh, childhood population. But we, we, it is still in, in its infancy in Britain, uh, in, the UK, in, in England, certainly. Um, so what I'd like to talk about, though, is a, is a, is a local initiative uh, that still involves a, a very large amount of, of, of data of children uh, related to uh, the service activity of one mental health trust in South London. Uh, this is the, the, the Maudsley. Uh, the Maudsley covers a catchment of 1.2 million uh, uh, um, children and, and adults and has about a quarter of a million children within its catchment population. Um, it provides, um, over the last five, six years, uh, we've developed, as you have here, uh, quite good ways of recording electronically what is happening to children that come into our services. So, and that's in structured field, so we're putting drop downs in terms of diagnoses, in terms of age, ethnicity, and, and those types of data. But also, um, we write quite a lot, as, 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 as David alludes to, we write quite a lot about what's going on, and we correspond quite a lot with one another um, uh, and other uh, clinicians um, about what's happening with children. And we're using information extraction processes like natural language processing to get at that information too. So we're, we're starting to build quite a good picture of actually what happens to children when they come into services, what treatments will we provide and what the clinician's understanding of their outcomes are. But that's not enough. That doesn't really help us understand what's happening at the population level. And I think in terms of resilience, we're sort of trying to get a picture of who are the groups that are vulnerable, how well are we um, able to, uh, mod how, how well are we, how good are we at, uh, at understanding who they are, um, how uh, much services or how much help we uh, provide or don't provide, and whether that's doing anything in terms of their, their longer term functional outcomes <coughs> and not just changes in, in whatever particular score we like to uh, use at the time to, to demonstrate our own out outcome improvement. So as I alluded to, uh, we're using quite a lot now um, uh, uh, of, of, of electronic resources to collect information. And as we've also talked about, we're quite good in individual, in individual services at collecting information. So um, <clears throat> as, as Ruth has discussed, uh, the National Pupil Database is available, so that looks at all children in, in school. Uh, We've got uh, national program measurement programs that measure weight and height routinely, and also we understand what's happening to children when they come into physical care services. But what's been difficult is to try and join it up, because uh, it's quite important that and me as a clinician, I, I want to know um, whether I'm treating how much the children that are vulnerable, the children that are um, suffering from neurodisability, how, how much help they're requiring and whether the help that I'm providing them is actually improving their outcomes in the long term. That takes joining up data and that's something that you do magnificently and that's something that we're trying to emulate. So I'm just going to give you a very quick example uh, or two examples of how we have joined up data in this local service. Um, so uh, we, we, as you say, we've got... Um, <coughs> Uh, we cover a, a, a population of about a quarter of a million children in a very rich um, community in South London in terms of its um, deprivation, in terms of its ethnicity, um, etc. And we're able to understand through linkage of, of, of the health record um, how well we're actually providing help to various vulnerable groups. And we're able to use through the longitudinal outcome, uh, outcomes that we're picking up um, what sort of treatments that individual clinicians decide to use um, and then get a follow-up to understand how that may be happening, uh, how that may be uh, altering or potentially altering um, things like their epilepsy hospitalisation rate, understandings about how the mental health care seems to be improving uh, the physical health outcomes. But 
That's low-hanging fruit. Persuading people to link health data together feels something that we shouldn't really need to ask. And most of the public, they say, well, I thought you were linking this data anyway, um, not on an operational level, but on a sort of strategic level to understand how well we're providing services. But as a child psychiatrist, you want to define function as not just have their depressive symptoms got better, but what's really happening in terms of the outside world. Are they going back to school? The shorthand that we have amongst clinicians is to describe, um, oh, it, they're doing really well, they, they, they sat their exams last week, um, and I think they, they managed them well. Um, or the, the, their school attendance rates has improved enormously. Um, and we use these as shorthands to describe to one another how well someone is doing. Now, the information is there, and it sits there in, in systems in, in, in England. Um, but no one yet until sort of in the last couple of months has been able to join them together. And that really relates to the fact that we have an understanding that the data, we have maybe a closer understanding about uh, or concern about how our individual data is used. Um, and we've had various experiments over the last few years about trying to collate large amounts of data in order to be able to do um, large population health sort of analyses that have fallen foul, really, of people feeling that we're invading on their privacy, which is understandable. What's helpful about local regions is I think it's easy to explain the purpose of linking data, and it's easier, to uh, easier for people to understand how they may get a notion of benefit, maybe not directly, but from the community that which they live in. And I think that's permitted us somehow to start linking data in smaller regions. Uh, which would then have the opportunity to replicate. So this was a project that I sort of started in, in, in November 2011 in terms of looking at linking educational data uh, to our CANS <laughs> records. And we really just got the data uh, at, at sort of the summer of 2015. So it took us a long time. And this only took, this bit only took six weeks. Um, uh, this bit took quite a long time. Um, so we've still got quite a long way to go in terms of thinking about massive national programs of data linkage. But I think in terms of understanding and getting the social license uh, to give people a sense of purpose about what we're doing uh, in England with people's data, I think work, 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 working on small regions is probably the way to go um, and then joining them up. So what's the, the, what's the information that I, 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 well, we've, we've put together provide us? Well, I hope it's going to give us a better grasp of, of, those, of, of those individuals that have had adversity. They've suffered something uh, difficult, um, whether it be chronic or, or, or fairly acute, um, and then be able to understand how, um, how much need they may have. Uh, are we responding to that need in the right way? And actually, are we seeing the improvement or giving them the agency to improve um, in things that they want to improve in? Um, and we've, you know, we've listed some here, which we think are obvious, but individual people may have, have or, or, or collections or communities may have some different um, uh, outcomes that they're interested in. What's important is dynamic. So it allows the population to change. It allows people's... Uh, uh, people's definitions of need to change, but the systems of collecting the data, uh, as you have here, um, are continuous. Um, and I think that's what's so important. So I think I've run out of time. Uh, yes, and I'm a blank screen, but I'm done. Thanks very much. Just <laughs>